The world is changing, technology is taking over. Kenya's space industry has been slow to take off for the past years, but it's predicted to skyrocket in the next few years. Kenya technology has attracted so many companies in the world including Starlink which is owned by Elon Musk who wants to invest in Kenya. Since Africa's first satellite was launched more than 23 years ago, 50 more have been sent into orbit by 13 African countries, according to consultancy Space in Africa. It says a further 127 are being developed by 23 countries, all expected to launch before 2025. Kenya's government is working hard with leading global tech companies to prepare Kenyan youth for opportunities in the digital space. President William Ruto said the government has partnered with various global tech companies to train youth to meet international standards. On that note, let me say this, Kenya has launched its first satellite this year which will help Kenyans reduce the high cost of living and many other things. You might ask yourself on how will a satellite reduce the high cost of living, let me explain. Welcome back to Teens Republic. The Life to Life Educative Channel, before we continue please subscribe to this channel. We promise you will have the best videos for you to watch and learn. Taifa 1 satellite is Kenya's first operational Earth observation satellite. It is equipped with an optical camera that takes pictures simultaneously in multispectral and panchromatic modes enabling it to operate within and beyond the visible light spectrum. The satellite is the first of what is intended to be a constellation of small Earth observation satellites, with subsequent systems expected to be of higher capability observation satellites, with subsequent systems expected to be of higher capacity. Kenya's first operational 3U Earth observation satellite, Taifa 1 satellite, was built at a cost of 50 million Kenyan shillings. The Taifa 1 satellite mission has been implemented in four main architectural parts, the mission subject, space segment, ground segment, launch segment and mission operations component. Some of us are slow, and I think I am going too fast. Let me explain what is this satellite like and how does it work. A satellite is a moon, planet, or machine that orbits a planet or star. For example, Earth is a satellite because it orbits the Sun. Likewise, the moon is a satellite because it orbits Earth. Usually, the word satellite refers to a machine launched into space and moving around Earth or another body in space. Earth and the Moon are examples of natural satellites. Thousands of artificial, or man-made, satellites orbit Earth. Some take pictures of the planet that help meteorologists predict weather and track hurricanes. Some take pictures of other planets, the Sun, black holes, dark matter, or faraway galaxies. These pictures help scientists better understand the solar system and universe. The bird's eye view that satellites have allows them to see large areas of Earth at one time. This ability means satellites can collect more data faster than instruments on the ground. Satellites also can see into space better than telescopes at Earth's surface. That's because satellites fly above the clouds, dust, and molecules in the atmosphere that can block the view from ground level. Most satellites are launched into space on rockets. A satellite orbits Earth when its speed is balanced by the pull of Earth's gravity. Without this balance, the satellite would fly in a straight line off into space or fall back to Earth. Satellites orbit Earth at different heights, different speeds, and along different paths. The two most common types of the orbit geostationary and polar. A geostationary satellite travels from west to east over the equator. It moves in the same direction and at the same rate Earth is spinning. From Earth, a geostationary satellite looks like it is standing still since it is always above the same location. Polar orbiting satellites travel in a north-south direction from pole to pole. As Earth spins underneath, these satellites can scan the entire globe, one strip at a time. Thank you for watching this interesting video, let me know what you have in mind in the comment section below. If you learned something, like this video and subscribe so that you can't miss videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to watch these other videos. I'm sure you will like them. And remember successful people look like you because you're ready to learn. Thank you. Subscribe.